meeting for pronunciation practice on June 25th. And we started with egregious egregious. If it's in gray over here, you know I probably just cut and paste from the Merriam-Webster website um, because I look it up to see do I have stress in the right place and then there's usually good examples and I'm looking for a short example, <laughs> um, an egregious example of political bias. So that's a, oh, I, I should put the um, link there so you can go to it because I think it's a good um, website to use for anything. Okay. Sanctimonious. Sanctimonious. And there was a good question about why is this an ng ang and when it looks like an in. Um, when the in is before a k, the in that would normally be in the front, san, moves to the back because your tongue is already very high in the back for a K. If I didn't, if I said um, sack, sack, it goes up high. So now saying I'm making my in as I'm going up for the K and making the airflow go through the nose, sank, and then I pull my tongue down, k, sankt, sanctimonious. So the in will sound like a ng combination when it's before a K or a G sanctimonious, treacherous, treacherous. This has two options. You can say four syllables, Israelites, Israelites, or three syllables, Israelites, Israelites. This you have options too, because you can keep the T in the middle, or you can drop the T and make a syllabic N. So with the T, spontaneity, spontaneity. And without the T, spontaneity, spontaneity. So I'm going up for the N for spawn, and then N. I just make the N noise, spontaneity. Either way is fine. Asia has the voiced Sh, so it's the same position as sh, but you have voicing, so it sounds like zh, Asia. And in the next word, you need the voiceless sh. So you have two options. It can sound like nauseous, nauseous, or three syllables, and now the sh changes to a z, z. nauseous, nauseous. But I have been known to combine these and make a weird in-between <laughs> sound. I won't do it because then that will probably throw you off on the wrong path. But choose one that will be easy for you to remember. I never remember how to spell it because I usually want the shorter one, nauseous, and it looks like there's so many vowels. How could it just be two syllables? Nauseous, as in I feel nauseous. Sixth. There's a lot of airflow for this one. If you were just going to say six, it would sound like si. I use the I-H for the vowel I as in hit, and then a K-S, six. Sick, release the K, and go immediately to the S. So back for the K, six. But now you're adding the T-H. So as you finish your S, keep making airflow, six, and push your tongue further forward. So I'm starting in the S, six, six. You might have to take a deeper breath if you're going to practice it a lot because it does take a lot of airflow. Sixth, and we practiced sixth place and sixth street. It is very hard to go from the TH to the STR combination again. So take your time and even take a little break. If I had to say, I'll take this out for practice. Sixth Street, Sixth Street, Sixth Street, Sixth Street. Take a little break in between there. Sixth place. A lot of airflow. And this one I know we've had before because you have lots of options. You can keep the R in the middle or you can drop the R in the middle. You can pronounce this last part as sheer or sure even though it looks like shire. <laughs> w is the vowel in the stressed syllable, and this is like took. So even though you have to round your lips for the W, you have to unround them for the uh vowel. This is uh as in took. 
not oo as in who. So Wooster would be wrong. Woo. Keep your lips coming back. Woo. And relax your tongue. Worcestershire is the first one. I'm keeping this R. Worcestershire. Without the R. Worcestershire. And getting rid of the R and changing ear to er. This one is the most lazy and probably the most common. It's the one I use. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And we use it most frequently in combination with sauce. Worcestershire sauce. So let's see, I'll, I'll do them all again. Worcestershire. 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 And sauce looks like it should be ow, souse, but it's not. It's just ah, the simple ah, like hot. So together, hot sauce is a good way to practice that sound. This word is from French, so the stress is on the last syllable, connoisseur. And we're not saying it total French style, but we're keeping the stress in the last syllable, connoisseur. Uh, I don't know why this one's so tiny. There. Epit, oh, epitaph. Epitaph. This, you hear people say it with a, a real E, like be, beguile. Or, because it's not stressed, it can be ba or be. Beguile, beguile, or beguile. Either way. Albeit. Oh, I have both of these stressed. That's confusing. I just now noticed that. <laughs> Albeit. It means um, although. But in any place I would see albeit, I would just say but. An enjoyable, albeit expensive, vacation. I would just say an enjoyable but expensive vacation. Antipodes. Antipodes means the complete opposite. I also copied this from Merriam-Webster, but it wasn't gray for some reason. This one, you have lots of options. It's a, it's a short word, but some people say niche with an i and a ch. Niche. Some people say niche with an i and a sh. And some people say niche with an e and a sh. I would say this is the most common, the one I hear most often, either niche or niche. I hear niche market um, a lot as a combination. And this was an example of rodeo, Americans pronouncing words from other languages the way they Americanize it. R rodeo, rodeo, instead of rodeo. Um, there was a good question about how do we know if a word that we can tell is from another language is going to be pronounced more uh, like that language's style or t completely changed and made American style? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows um, until you make a mistake. And this is always rodeo unless you're talking about Rodeo Drive in California, then it's pronounced differently in that situation. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's any uh, rules for it. And that makes it even more confusing. I'll say without talking. Egregious. Sanctimonious. Treacherous. Israelites or Israelites. Spontaneity or Spontaneity, Asia, nauseous or nauseous, sixth, oh. Worcestershire, 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 sauce, connoisseur, epitaph, beguile, or beguile, albeit, antipodes, niche, or niche, or niche, rodeo. All right, that's it. Thanks. It was good to see everyone, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday or maybe tomorrow for intonation practice. Thanks. Have a good one.